your name and your district and ask if you stand and you will actually read the question. The first person to respond will be Mr. Davis. So, Lindsay uh, Barrow in District 2. Uh, my name is Lindsay Ballou, and uh, my question is, uh, given the contentious uh, environment we have in the city today, with, uh, I guess, the elections and everything leading up to it, if elected, what will you do to work with the, the others who will be elected, the other councilmen, to, uh, to make sure that we have a, a, a positive, uh, or more positive atmosphere, a positive environment? Well... The, the first thing that I would do is um, try to preserve uh, the city like it is right now. I am not in favor of big projects. I am not in favor of big projects that are going to affect the citizens that uh, like to live in quiet places. I don't want the people to be disturbed. Uh, my main idea is um, that we we keep the city as it is right now, and then uh, try to do projects that are sustainable uh, for the future preservation of Dunwich. Okay, Mr. Well. The first thing I will do is make sure I'm informed on the issues and that I've gotten the correct information. And then I will share my thoughts with the other council people. And I will make sure that I understand where they're trying to come from. I am not about trying to create any division. I think our, uh, we have some people on the council uh, supposed to be running the city that have helped with that. I had a false website put up in my name I've had some other things. I've had signs stolen. So none of that matters. What I'm here for and I will do is to work with the other council people. And I hope that uh, we're successful in seeing three new council people and we will move forward. I believe in progress, but I believe in planned progress. And we make sure we get some impact fees started and let these uh, developers help us fix the infrastructure that they're going to bring in and bring pressure on. I guess the first thing I would do uh, is listen to the various different council members, listen to the citizens going in there, trying to hear what the frustration is. I mean, I think that's the, the number one complaint I've heard from talking to various different people uh, while walking through the city, while going to various different group meetings like this and everything. There, whether it's a small issue or a larger issue, I think that is, that is a key that it sounds very simple, but I think it is something we kind of need to tune into a little bit more, and I would start with listening. Second thing I would do is I would try to communicate openly and, and honestly. I think forums like this where you can throw questions at us where we don't quite know exactly what's going on before we get in here in terms of what, nat what the nature of the questions will be, I think it's very beneficial because you get a pretty direct answer, and I think we need more direct answers regarding a lot of different issues within the city. Uh, following that, I would say I'm one that believes very much in, in keeping my word or keeping my deal with you. If there's something that I'm on record with saying, if there's an issue that I'm addressing and I've given you my word or there's an agreement made, I'll stick to that. And finally, playing by the rules. I don't think it's any simpler than that. If we have an outline that we're going to stick to, then that's what we need to do. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mercer. Mr. Ryan Taxter. Well, I think the thing first, you know, what I want to do is really listen to the people and work with the council to slow many of the projects we're trying to accomplish in the early phases because we've got to get citizen input and understanding and buy-in to have successful projects in our city. And we've lacked 
both, and, and I think that's the approach to, to get to where we can successfully complete projects in the city, is by listening to the folks, getting consensus among the people, and then working towards consensus on the council. Thank you. <coughs> this is actually a, a very important question um, and Lizzie I thank you for answering asking it uh, we do need to kind of get together and talk about these issues we also need to kind of figure out a way we can get to yes I think that, that we're, we're, we're having some issues communicating I know the city is coming up with some town hall meetings in the future that will be the beginning steps for us to kind of have an open forum just like we're doing right now I will say this I promise if you elect me I will do a town hall meeting without the city, and we'll do it here in this clubhouse. But we can talk about the issues in District 2, because I want to hear from everybody in the room. I think it's so important that we communicate, and so we can all try to get to the projects and get them across the finish line, and understand what bothers some people and what some other people like. I mean, not everybody's going to agree on everything, but we need to be able to understand what the issues are, and it's very important. We would have not been able to build this clubhouse if it wasn't collaboration. It takes collaboration to make things happen. Same with the soapbox derby, same with the DHA. There are all these things that we have to do to kind of come together. It's so important. And I believe we can. We just have to talk. And I want to help that process happen. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Eats? I think the uh, absolute first thing I would do is um, welcome differing opinions. You know, every environment I've ever been in, just on, every environment I've been in where there were differing opinions, uh, we always ended up having a better result in the end because instead of having group think where everybody thought, oh, this is a great idea, let's just go with that, you know, you always had problems. But anytime you had people that said, no, I don't want to do it that way, I want to do it a different way, we always end up with a better result. And I think, you know, from my perspective, if I'm fortunate enough to, to get elected, we, you know, we have to listen to other council members, and we certainly need to start listening to citizens more because you guys have a lot of great ideas, and I've heard, I've met a lot, met with a lot of you, and heard a lot of neat ideas. So, um, sure, open up the elect. Thanks. Mr. Thompson. Yeah, the, the city has been contentious over the, the last year or two, and, and some of that is normal and, and healthy. We're not all going to agree on all the issues that are, are out there. Um, it, it's, a, it's a better microphone. Oh, it's not. Slide it out. You've got to turn it on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that better? Oh, yeah. There you go. I think I'm going to do this. Time's up. <laughs> uh, we will disagree on, on issues in the city. And again, a lot of that is, is normal and healthy. That's the listening process that, that, that people are out there. Everybody comes into decisions with different life experiences uh, and, 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 and different things that they think are important and different priorities. At some point, all decisions got to have to come to a vote. The important thing we've got to realize is that some people are going to come up on the short end of the boat and some people are going to come up on the, the positive end of the boat. But what, if you look through a vision of the future, what you've got to do is if you come up on the, the short end of a boat, realize that that was the process that went through, the majority prevails, and you've got to move forward with the ideas. If you're on the losing end and you just keep nagging and nagging and nagging, all you do is tear the city down and we need to move the city forward. Okay, so just some housekeeping. Our, our second question is...